Is you ready? We're fracking, going to Vietnam. Going to Nam? Do we need to play the Black Ops, the Black Ops music, the uh, Rolling uh, Stones music? Um, I don't know, play it right now. Oh. For two seconds, because it will get copyright. Since we didn't do an epic, we're leaving the Philippines video, we just have to say goodbye to everything before we leave oh. forever. Take a quick mock walk through the mall. We're going back. He forgot his visa receipt. We were fine without it last time, but it's better not to risk it. Again. Yeah, that guy last time was like, "You're lucky this time." My person was very confused. Uh. They were like, they just like kept like squinting a little bit, uh, but it ended up being they didn't say anything to me about it. Okay, well, visa receipt. I'm very thirsty. Alright, so Isaac's heading back all the way for I can over there. We should be good. We have a good... It'll take us about an hour and a half to get to the airport, I think. And um, we're leaving pretty early. We're three hours early still. So we'll be there an hour and a half early if traffic is cooperating. It's drink time. Here is SM North on a Thursday night, 10 days before Christmas. Very very busy Thursday night everyone was warning us that before Christmas it was gonna get busy and uh, you were right so I already went back got my water and chugged it already and now I'm waiting for Isaac where is he where he is do you see him a head taller than everybody else walking this way, sir. There he is. The tallest man in the Philippines. All right. What's going on? I got the receipt. It's uh, a little bit crinkled, but it's all good. That's okay. Look at how packed Jayco is. Yeah, why is, it, why is it so busy today? Did you see the Avatar lady or man? I don't know. Is that out already? I don't know, but there was a uh, person dressed like painted. I did not see the avatar person. There was a massive crowd around. Oh, they were taking selfies? Yeah. All right, so now we have brisk walking and we have to say our goodbyes. Goodbye, SM North. Goodbye, Ratatat Tat the Block. They actually opened a new Puma. Oh, wow, Puma's open. Very cool. Goodbye, random tree. We made a how was Dubai during Ramadan. We can make a how was the Philippines during Christmas. It's like the opposite. Goodbye, unnecessarily big Christmas tree. Goodbye, pink guy. Polar bear, uh, reindeer hybrid. Reading an monster. empty book. Goodbye, Gary. And I don't mean the restaurant. We met Gary. Oh. Goodbye, landmark. Well, this place is busy. Welcome back to the Taft Avenue MRT. This place is chaotic. We had to do this last time when we went to Malaysia. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, McDonald's. Goodbye, MRT. Goodbye, Deep Knees. All right, we need a grab or a taxi. Back street to Pasai at uh -huh. night? Let's do it. We can stop here. What terminal? Three. This place is nutty. Gotta get to terminal three. Google Maps said it will only take 15 minutes. Okay, that's not terrible. So hopefully we'll that's airport. true. We'll get to the airport before like 9.30. We'll still have an hour. That's easy. Oh. Look at this fracking place. Did I just feel a raindrop? Uh-oh. Look at how packed that jeepney is. Oh, man. They got three people. They got four people in the front. Ay, ay, ay. That one, that tricycle has Three people sitting on the actual bike, four people in the compartment. 
Oh my god. That tuk tuk has five people in it, including the driver. Oh my god. Not including the driver, so six people. The bus is full, actually. Wow, this place is fracking busy. If we can get it for 200, we'll good. We're good. Let's see. We're having a really hard time getting a taxi. Like really hard time. The grabs are nothing is popping up on Grab. I've never seen any of the tricycles at the airport. There are a couple times we've been there, so I'm guessing they don't go to the airport. Last time we got a taxi at a hotel and they jacked up the price. It's massive. 200 just for like a 15 minute ride. So. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I put it up a ways at this hotel up here and it doesn't seem to be helping. This may be a problem. If we miss our flight because we can't get transportation, that's fracked. That is fracked. Oh God. Let's go. Wish us luck. Guess who made it through security, frackers? And now we wait. Wow, we we both got waters and already drank them? Bonkability test. This woman behind you was staring at us and then I looked at her and she went like this. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's like a 4 out of 10 bonkability probably. 4 out of 10? It's not a bonus bottle? No, bonus. Bonus is the, it's the standard, 10 out of 10. Bonus bottle is a giant bottle from a uh, Icelandic uh, grocery store chain. It had a perfect like long cylindrical shape, not too like ridgy, but like a nice smooth long cylindrical mm. shape that gave a very good bottle. What is it similar to? It's like a it's, longer, it's like a longer, bubblier two liter. Yeah, yeah, like a longer, like just pop two liter, soda two yeah. liter. So, whereas I feel like a lot of times when you get like a bigger water one, they have their like ridges and stuff. Yeah. There, so it takes away the bonk ability. They're trying to make it look fancy. Uh, this is a really serious segment on how well we can bonk. <laughs> it's all about bonking. But we gotta go refill this with boiling water now. Are you ready? Uh, and hold it like this? Yes. All right, let's go do a boiling airport water taste test right now. Okay. Let's go. This is our dinner. Oreo. Oreo. Do we make a Domino, Domino parody? Straight Kids Domino, but Oreo? Oreo. Uh, Yo, Oreo. I'm trying to think about a rap about Oreo. Yo, Oreo. But I, chocolatey and creamy on the inside. <laughs> yeah, the first blow is so quick, I couldn't think of things. Uh, think we're, that's a surprising amount of people going to Guam. I didn't know anybody went to Guam. I didn't either. All right, hot. Okay. Let's get a nice little bit. Oh. No hot water. The cold water taste test isn't gonna be as epic. Why are they spamming the cold water audio voice line? This is like when we play Overwatch. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> you guys, epic Overwatch gameplays coming when we get back. Be ready. I can't even understand what you're saying. It just sounds like. Oh, oh, oh. Cold water. And she's lying, it's not very cold. Become Zen. Zenyana? Oh, Zen that was a perfect fit. Look at that, thank you very much. Alright, back to waiting. She should have been saying lukewarm water. Lukewarm? That's about what it's at. It's harder to say lukewarm water, lukewarm water. The World Expo Busan 2030. The Dubai Expo was so fun. I hope it's just as cool in Busan. <laughs> Does this feel cold to you? What the heck? This is cold water. It's, <laughs> it's getting cold warmer water. and warmer. It said it was 37 degrees Celsius. How is wow. that cold water? Let me just do a quick calculation. That's like 100 degrees if it is, which I don't think it's true. Is it halfway to boiling? Uh, it's 98.6. It's the human body temperature. I mean, it might be halfway to boiling. 100 degree cold water? This is an anomaly. We're finally moving. It's only uh, 20 minutes late yeah. when there's takeoff. We're supposed to board a long time ago. Why isn't there even, there's no time on here. They were like, eh, it's not gonna be on yeah. time. We'll just whatever, put one out. Whatever we want it to. Look at the fracking line. But wait, the line's actually down there too. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been sitting here for a while. We thought we were gonna be fracking late. No. 
every time we're like, oh, maybe this will be the first time we miss a flight. And it never is the first nope. time we miss a flight. We always end up waiting. We're already hungry and we have like four hours until we'll even be. I bought some Filipino Ritz crackers. Hopefully that will suffice me a little bit. I ate six Oreos. It didn't help. <laughs> Here we go. Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh? Ho Chi Minh? That's a very big line. Do all, the, do all the flights to Ho Chi Minh get in at this time? Uh, apparently, that is a really big line. Great, here we go. Welcome to Cheap Hotel. Over from the seventh. Oh, this is outside. Oh, we're 703. Okay, let's see, have the suits. Okay. Room. It's a room. Yeah. It's a room. Does that AC not work? It doesn't seem like the AC works. Or maybe it does. Okay. AC works. This room was $21 a night. One of the cheaper ones you can get in Saigon. Seems like there's some skeets in here. All right, first impressions from driving out of the airport. It looks like a very nice city, but it has nice wide streets and pretty clean. Uh, the one person we ran into was very helpful. He helped us check in. Yeah, we... The check-in person was a bit weird. We, uh... See the bathroom? Wow, it's a big tub. What was that? So we got to the airport and we stood in that huge line and then... It took a, what, hour? At least, least hour 15 or it, hour 30. It was uh, quite the line. We stood there for a while and once we got out the usual taxi, everyone's like, hey, taxi, taxi, taxi. And then we like looked on Grab and Grab was 130,000. And we're like, oh, that seems like a lot. And then we looked at the taxis, how much they were charging. They were all charging 350. They even like, tried to discredit the Grab price too. Like one of them was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like trying to like psych us out of getting the grab. It was a very, very weird situation. Yeah, then we got a grab, silent grab ride all the way to here, the streets. Going to a city at night is very interesting. When you show up at night, you don't really know what it's going to be like the next day. It's a very springy bed. <laughs> yeah, no, even like some of the nice cities we've been to, like at night, they just look so much different than during the day. We got to places like Mangalore at night. Gdansk. Tbilisi, Tbilisi at night. Um, just a lot of stuff like that. It's tomorrow when the streets are full of bikes and things like that, it's gonna be interesting. And yeah, we got to the hotel and then it was just freaking dark and we were like, ah, oh! and we were like looking in and it was just dark in the lobby. And that was like the fear this whole time was that they were going to close down before we got here. And then there was some guy on a bike and he was like, go, the hotel, go in. And we we're like, okay. And then we walked in and there was a guy sleeping and he just goes, bah, 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 and he just points and we're like, he just oh, said, he okay. Said, he said something about the other room. So we're like, and then we started walking out and the guy on the bike was like, he seemed like confused that we got waved away. And then he, I showed him my phone and he was like, Ruby hotel, that's it. And then, Went in and then he, he came, talked to the guy. <laughs> he came in with us and he woke the guy up. <laughs> so. And the guy, he just had the, the hair just like from sleeping on his cot. He was, yeah, he was just sleeping there right next to the desk. Quite the experience. And then we got 
a level higher than the elevator that's outside. So there's a few less spider webs. There's a little daddy long leg in there, but what can you say? It was 20 bucks. Maybe it was 40 bucks. I thought I'd charge my card, but they asked for money still. Uh, we can't do the joke anymore. If we had two of these, we could be like, oh, we're billionaires. Nope. We just had to waste them all on this. Okay. All the money we just took out is fracking gone. But don't worry, we have this and we have two little waters. Oh, nice Hold up. And this is what you can get for $20 in Vietnam, booking the day before you show up. Frack yeah. What did you do? I think that I summoned a demon. I summoned Sully from Monsters, Inc. Oh my, it's gonna come out of the closet. What the heck is that? Please, a rat, don't come out. Oh, there's a fridge bag here with prices. All right, guys. Well, that's this epic journey from Manila to Saigon. Hopefully you enjoyed.